So, to find the reactions at A, B and D using virtual displacement method, we are going to apply a unit virtual force in the direction of the reaction force we are trying to find. One for A, one for B and one for D. And then we draw bending moment diagrams for each of them. And then we know that this system is an equilibrium. So any force due to these virtual displacements is going to, any work done is going to be equal to zero. So let's start with point B. We're trying to find the reaction at point B. So we're going to draw a vir unit virtual displacement at B. And now we draw the bending moment diagram. We know that moment at supports is going to be equal to zero. So we have moment equal to zero at these two supports and maximum moment at this hinge. We also know that this beam due to this hinge is going to be split into two rigid bodies. So we have one rigid body from A to C and one rigid body from C to D. So rigid body basically when we draw the bending moment diagram means it's not going to bend, it's just going to be a straight line. So moment at A is zero. Let's, wait, let's draw. Moment is zero. So we start from here. Straight line due to the rigid body. And it's going to continue as a straight line because it's a rigid body all the way until the hinge at C. And it's going to go down because the moment at D is zero. Now we have a displacement due to this virtual um, force here due to, um, due to load P. So if here we know it's one and it's acting midway, is going to be half of 1. So it's going to be 0 0.5, the displacement due to point P. And let's draw this on as 0 0.5. Now, um, to find the work done of the system, we know it's 0. And this is going to help us to find um, the reaction at B, which is what we're looking for. So. Um, work done equals force times distance. We have the force RB times by the displacement of 1 plus the force P multiplied by the displacement of 0 0.5 but we're doing minus 0 0.5 because this force P is acting downwards and the rest are acting upwards. Yeah. And at A, we have no work done because moment is zero, moment is zero, no displacement, so this equals to zero. Now we can find um, RB is going to be equal to um, P, P over 2. And that's the reaction at B. Now, let's find the reaction at A. So, we already know we have to apply a unit virtual displacement at A in the direction line. So, 1. We know that moment at supports is equal to 0. So, we have moment 0 at these points. So, we can draw... it down. It's going to also be zero here but it can't just be a straight line because we have this hinge. So it splits the beam into two rigid bodies. So we have to finish drawing this rigid body as a straight line all the way to wherever C goes. I mean it's a bit wonky but something like that. And then moment at D is zero. There we go. Now, 
um, the displacement at point P. Once again, we know that the displacement due to the virtual force at RA is equal to 1. And here, it acts at mid-span. So it's going to be half. So once again, we have the displacement at P due to the virtual force being equal to 0 0.5. And that's about all we need to find the reaction at A. Once again, we know this is in equilibrium, so the um, work done due to all of this is going to be equal to zero. And we know there is no work at B and D, because the moment is zero and there's no displacement, but there's going to be some work done at P and some work done at A. So at A, work done equals force times distance. The force RA times by the unit virtual displacement, the distance, 1, plus force P times by the displacement, 0 0.5, we said equals to 0. And that's going to give us um, RA as P over 2. Now lastly, to find Rd, here we go, we know that moment at this support is zero, apart from the support where we're applying the unit virtual force at D, which is one. So. Once again, we have um, the hinge forming two rigid bodies. And since moment at B and A is zero and it's a rigid body, the force P is going to be zero. So it's just going to be a straight line because it's a rigid body and the force P is going to equal zero all the way to where this rigid body ends at C. And is going to join here. Okay, so we know once again that the um, work done by this system in equilibrium is zero. We have no displacement due to the virtual force at P, only at RD. So we do RD times one force times distance, this is in virtual, in the virtual displacement, it's going to equal zero. So Rd is zero. And that's it.